Are you an entrepreneur? Are you brave enough to face the might of the making moves charges? It's no use standing there and thumb sucking an answer. Mm. Work five hours a day. Yes. You're lazy. Have you taken samples to them? Uh, no, um, we haven't. I do feel a little bit disrespected, and that's why I'm, I'm a little bit angry. Is there any fuel on the business model leader? Do you want to pitch for 50,000 rand cash injection into your business? The stage is set for you to be part of this amazing opportunity for young entrepreneurs. Welcome to the pitch. Thank you, sir. How are you feeling? I'm blessed. I'm okay, sir. In your business, in the stationary sector, okay. um, what, is your, what is your margins compared to the cyber center and your books? Mm. How much is it going to cost to run that cyber site? Um, to, it is, it's going to run me 50,000 to start it. Remember, no, I will start okay. to run it. To run it, it's not going to start. If I have the equipment, it won't be more expensive. I want to know how much is it going to cost you? It's going to cost me 1,000 rand. Okay. Yes. How did you get to that 1,000 rand? Katisa digitization, la poko na young kinto isia online. Umunda ngai kaba ngaguti easy, student is amanje. Si prefer akufunda ama e-books. Upenyo solo nzwe i Los Angeles Times. Bona kaba tole ngaguti un 92 percent wa college students. Bona basa prefer akufunda easy ngwati easy print iyo. These statistics also applies here at home, although the book market is generally small. U Ilex, yena kwa sungule la istolo sake easy tayi size ngwati. Gemva ngaguti abo nama tuba akon giona lingunza. My name is Elex Mwansi, I'm the CEO the founder of Elex Academic Bookstore. At Elex Academic Bookstore, we sell prescribed textbooks and stationery. What makes us unique and the best is that we allow our clients to resell and trade in their prescribed textbooks back to us. You can find us at 239 Pretoria Street at Pretoria, or you can purchase your books online at our website, which is www.elexacademicbookstore.co.za. Kisa Pitori in the CBD lapo kone ngizu bengi kita usugu no suma business wetu who's got a bookstore kukio na lenda olena ela paya. Lomli salona gena is got an interesting business. Jongo baka pinde futi habe ne online store lapo kona ta esa isi ngwa zake. E pinde futi zingen e zinye isi ndu eza shuwa shuwen ezi mletela umtelela e business in life. So let's get to Subu Nai. Gifunu was Gabans, Mugutu, go by any Amakas men the ag. Footing, the pin the footing Funu was with the business like Ilona, the seven Zaganja. Eh, Skok, I'm done. Bet you from who was student, Kulenda Olinesi Megiona, to now running Elex Academic Bookstore Yako. Talk to me, this one. Master School in Sofunda, when I saw one of my business opportunities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to be like an amco. It took me a while I was still a student. They kept it to my Greek side, the Buga to my fellow classmates. Got a year, second year, Greek summer first year. This is how all started. Take it to Greek side, Buga Moscow. Yes, sir. King Egana, that made you see that gap. You know, I turn a good business like Glen to look at seeing what. What I realized more, more book in, books are required mm -hmm. because of education is not an optional. How to more register on your book? That's why you want to need or this thing is a required uh, business, yes, especially in general, even though it's not required. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After graduating, you decided, as in, let me go into this thing, being in a way business. Weren't you concerned, Guti? You know what? Let me go get the experience before ungena ngamashi was a business. Experience nekiti no. Kile gira thirty aga nekile nekira intern. So gira intern ibi naga complete ke ke to ele intern ati ke ke to choma business. Because na gile gira thirty aga nekira ele internship. So internship aga ke ke kin rozele wana tarimans. After tarimans si gatloe. Yeah. Even though ne wana pass the pen mara gatloe. Gatloe. Tatamari risk. Yeah. 
to set up intention and a thing again. So where did the funding come from to make sure you acquire the books when season goes in there? When you get to me in a center, you place an order. Take a tour. So I had to now I have to take a fellow effort and input your gabarak. So got to make the cotition and everything, but to get placing an order. If it's a piece of they pay before, remember. So that those people they paid and then got such a makeup or gaga safer, got say like it's a good book and bad deal. That's how I started. Okay. Meroko a kamo ko kradi clients. Ke ya kwani tle ke society clients ke a bua ke busa meroko mo officing. That's what I do. And then working here is very fun because Alex is not your hardcore boss. Okay, he has his days. Mo ilong ore. Sometimes we focus kam meroko serase, but hona le matat ilong ore. Everything is cool. Today we are going to school. We are going to go school. We are going to go to the 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 school. We are going to go the student, student that are learners and student from grade R until tertiary level. It's one target time. And then total about two seven thousand level. Now by guy has what you need. Full time, I got by five intense saga detail. Yes. What's your role in the business? I'm a CEO. The CEO. I'm the managing. I'm in general. Yeah. Yeah. I do almost everything. Yeah, we're back. So, Abu. Yeah, true that. Now, tell me a bit about it, and also, Futi, how is it helping the business lag? Spelling bee six host and sister annually, whereby Kira competition, but I never thought any cost free of charge. Bookshop, Kira, if I want a laptop or the dictionary in return for winning, in that case, King Karaja, but why the Lebana utilize the dictionary? It's a good exposure for Rena, and then it's again a give back, it's a blowback for business. Yes. Har mita Alex for the first time, ki han Alex adle ho kore donate la di dictionary, or supplya ka stationery, or supplya ka textbooks, and then other learning materials besides textbooks and stationery. He's good to work with. Communication ni hai imna tu kor le hau berkali ena hau na stress. Some rather let's do this and not do this. Wadu udu melana lo ena without any kefela ko bonsa ana. You yes, have yes, no, answered one question no, and you no, defending no, him. There's 27,000 yeah. uh, Unisa students. Yeah. They're 27,000 Unisa. Just look at the Unisa students on their own. Eh? Okay. We're not We're done with the question and answer. He likes me that his family would not have money to send him to university after matric. In the classic Elex way, he hustled for money to pay for his tuition. Why is that his son? Uguze na wa zukokela zifundo zak. Here is the story from the horse's mouth. Alexo tu alijua na kama kaya kamo, kamo amuazi, hava holela na mo, hava Thomas Kolo na mo, hava Fiji Aston de Tenen Jala na mo. Alexo mo ufelonga singa rusokoli. Kuli shikeni, kino gumu kuli shikeni na, ugoja wote asinge kwenye, na kwa hae hae chilenzi lenye. Tama kuruto kufiti, 
so it affected me a lot. Because of by then, how to flag and I will have a scheme with a tender that's what I'm below the hundred and twelve thousand. Cut tender scheme plus time and how well. How well, and it depends on the petle, like I'm going to lose it. So, to fly on affected a lot, especially when we're businessing, car high, and we're open or nagging the first born. So, when you deliver everything now, since I've been given full responsible for everything, and I can have an hour and let the last. So, again, that's when I take you over for everyone. Alex, I want to know how many of you have been able to do it. I want to know how many of you have been able to do it. I want to know how many of you have been able to do it. Too fast. I want to know how many of you have been able to do it. I want to know how many of you have been able to do it. I want to know how many of you have been able to do it. I want to know how many of you have been able to do it. I want to know how many of you have been able to do it. Ene eba rata Englishu kudu kwa kala arvats vas kwa ene eliena a a remuhe changu nchi kichajele na kuchadi debate. Nigel active, more active, hyper active. In a sense or any activity muskulu nagi engage myself into. Whereby the debate, I was the reading. Eba who want to read? Next time you read like kapi kapi, na nigele I will do it. And always business studies. Banana ke rata or Rex no baruta. Topic here we batla bay present ka mo tla sing. Alex be ba o ena wa matomo wa o present. So in that case, batla banana banchi batomo gura matomo hit. Ka mo tla sing mar hit lo indirect. Ne wa o hit di kur professionali directed to you. But indirect wa kwa ba o bolelo we puto re neke ena wa ze. And then matomo realize and chongo ega schoolo neke para di don't touch. Guru ho bo half for one. So bo karaban say ya ban biza mu fuki imba ba. So in that case, I'm moving. That's why I realized we're bargaining. I'm moving, but no one buys me a, a trouser. They were not buying a trouser, but they were calling me moving. That's why I realized, why should I care about others? Why don't I focus on myself, Nagira? For a year, I've been your leader. I got lost in your world, and we because even when I was young, I learned my teacher before I saw my first asphalt. I learned my first tear. I did not check my mobile number. I learned even even look at me. I took a inch. I have a kid who made a lot of money. I got over I read the little carabo because carabo get heaven and I told me one day. I told me the learner to solve a bunch of things. I read the manual. I read the manual. I call the drink. I read the manual. And I learned. Ata kulanchi arafa arafa ba tu di change ya ba change ya diya kitu mela kore uri lega sano na ai wana le kagai le skolo ngaru muruta kagona ano kuisha orange ya pele kagai ridera practical peta reke hicho leche pili abala la rato kaiyon progress anga from utumia kaka until today kifilo ram blessed kila wamudi muka or everything that I have so for future kina kubwa na ki ki change other people's life that's what I believe I believe in change. Many students do know the pain of not affording a prescribed textbook. Willex, ye na ge wak ala daisa is in wa tibes dingwa haba fund, ngales kati na yese student. However, with lack of business experience and sound advice, he has made costly mistakes along the way. He shares some of his lessons with Pepsi. Just arrived at making moves. I'm so excited, even though I'm kind of nervous, I'm gonna be meeting a Pepsi inside. Uh, today they're going to be briefing me and coaching me. Thank you. This self-starter has been in business for nearly two years. Despite sluggish growth in the educational book market, Elex has made major strides through their online offering and their distribution of stationery to schools. He's here to share his business milestones and talk about the scam that nearly killed his business. That they're welcome to making moves. How are you? I'm good, sir. Thank I'm you. I'm all right, my brother. Nice one. Take a seat. Yeah. Okay, so, get Elex. Get Elex. Like, what's the story? It just comes from your name. <laughs> yeah? Get Elex. This is the one I got to my guy. You got scammed hmm. for over 110,000 rand. True. But how did that happen? Uh, I got a business like I get registered in more central database. Hmm. So, normally, those people from government, the department, different department, they send us uh, requisitions. To, to quote them, so if they want anything. They were claiming they were from military department. So they said, no, we need um, this quotation for these boots. 
even though it's a bookshop, but we understand we need this. Since when you are your own database, you can supply everything. And then I send them the quotation, then they approve it, and then they send me a wedding letter for a tender, which it was awarding me around 350,000. They give me the reference code for those boots. When you Google those boots, they retrieve me to the website, which is one people. I can't find them everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then I went to that site, and then I interacted with those people. They said, no, we do have the stock. We have over, um, they needed 100. We have over 1,000 stock. Then I deposited 112,000 to the account. So the problem was started to be too observant. That's where then they said, uh, we need additional of the boots. Additional too of the boots. Too observant. You clearly want too observant because, Hey, Okay, so, what lesson did you learn from that experience? If you had to go back, what would you do differently? Uh, from now on, that's why before I get to my business, I was in the sense of confirming. I learned that I have to go there directly. Go go supply chain. Department. Get ready to issue this tender. You can need the now. Where's the letter? Give the supply chain. That's what I learned. How did you manage to recover from that experience? Because for a new business, you're open for a few months to lose that kind of money. Can you go buy? So, or recover later? Got initiative concepts get angry to Then I had to reheat to my no. I never I will not allow this thing. I have been scammed. I can't go forward. Come on, hella. Get to my get like this campaign. Get to me then by give it to my dictionary my future. Because if I was having stock as a dictionaries, and I saw the potential need, or I'm going to make money with this. Then get there some of the dictionaries. Ne? Kafana gazo. Kafana gazo into school. Remember, I was knocking, meaning I was distributing, but not the shopping and the see so that they will see them. Teachers will use them. They will encourage learners to tell the parents, the parents to purchase. Mm. Then that's what I did. And has that worked? It worked. So, I don't know, there is the stationary side of the business. Yeah, true that. There is the official books. Yes. Where schools or government pays you mm. to buy the book from yourself. Yes. There's the dictionaries. Yes. And then there's online where Bookstore. students go on directly. They yes. order, you deliver. Mm. Which, which, which is making money? Uh, mm -hmm. I get a share level yeah, online store because one store is generated South Africa nationwide. Mm -hmm. Why it, it generate more income because of partnering with Fundi, which is NEFSA, so when I go to UT, uh, UP, uh, Medunza, but I get a Fundi card. Mm -hmm. And then Fundi card, they pay me after 15 days. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of people uh, order the book. Money. That's why then, how do they know me? I would go to present the like, pamphlet, the word of mouth. That's how it really is going to be like So. Why aren't you focusing a lot more on that and growing that side of it? I got to open a lot of business again. It's seasonal. But I never got to book a general February, March, and second semester. Mm. So during the course of the, the, the year, that's why I did this initiative concept to keep business again. Mm. Remember, I'm Rosebank College, in an internal bookstore. Mm. Bookstore is like a supplier, but Rosebank is a CBD. Remember, and whenever, like, during the course of the year, I generate another income bank. I had to buy big machines for print out. I print out the manuals, I print out the assignment, get the bind. So the machine is even inside Rosebank College, we buy for printing out. Mm. So whenever I print out the assignment, the activity, in front but type this activity that must be printed out they don't go outside yeah. but I'm going to print okay and have you looked at growing that beyond Roseburn College if I don't go bookshop go go University of Mpumalanga but not inside University of Mpumalanga outside there is an outside there is a college is more than more who plus station is a guitar for only schools guitar the offices guitar the government can supply even individually if you get the book you get the better you get the laptop or when you get the phone you don't have to my my concern i've got two 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 concerns okay. the first one is that how do you move the university okay. with a computer with two different types of competitors the oxfords and the Penn Macmillan and those guys that are the big publishers. The second one is informal market. But it was not the cost of like a full or regulated textbook at the same place where you bought textbooks and whatnot, or a How do you deal with that second type of competitor? The reason why not business like Iran, which other my competitors do, they don't do. Now I allow my clients to resell and trade in the textbook. After buying textbooks from me, you know, after using them, I have to I will bring it back. But they also Alex. they also the, the other guys also resell and rebuy. Okay. Yeah. But now it's a guarantee. Okay. Because of we go 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 dagger, go for code, you know, code number and everything, mm. and yeah, it's, it's a guaranteed. Mm. Whereby if you even write it down mm. on a paper, this is what is it's guaranteed. So that they're unique selling property, although they can start copying that from next year. They can start that.
They can start copying. Anyone them can do it, yeah. Yeah. But but the second type of competitor that scares me and scares me more than or, or at the smaller guys, key mm -hmm. the publishers. Because essentially you don't own the means of production, you are just a reseller. Mm -hmm. You buy and you sell. They can sell directly to your customers. That concerns me. Uh, but well, all mm -hmm. the publishers of Africa, as well, Bookshop, uh, even the privilege within two years, the achievement that we achieved. We partner with all publishers, which mm -hmm. is Oxford, um, Judah, Pearson, mm -hmm. Macmillan. Mm -hmm. Those people, depending on the point out, they open account for them. We open a bookshop uh, an account whereby they give me a value of 10,000. And then I can take stock from them. So, so if we lend 10,000, then we can after. Um, 30 days, but I'm um, 30 percent discount as a reseller. Mm. So, uh, price one get retail price. But I'm okay, this book it cost 50 rand, mm. it's a retail price. Mm. Whenever we let the direct to them, is 50 rand. Now, my regular go one get 30 percent off, mm. which will get a resale price by a recommend. Okay, I wish you the best of luck. I am concerned that maybe you try and do too many things, um, and you might lose yourself along the way. But you seem to have a firm grip on the business, mm. and, and I think you'll do very, very well. Yeah, true. So congratulations. No, thank you very yeah. much, Mr. Pips. Okay, but Despite a setback of losing over 100,000 through a scam in his first year of business, Elex is proving to be a resilient entrepreneur. He's constantly seeking new opportunities to grow his business. more about business. That's why I'm looking at a mentorship to look long because some of the things that the embassy is. The educational book market is a seasonal business with overheads and rent to pay monthly. Elex needs to make sure that business is profitable throughout the year. He needs to find other avenues or markets for his business. Maybe as a way of introduction, just run me through high level on, on about your business and, and what are the key areas that you would like us to, to perhaps discuss today? Okay. Mm, focus on that today, can I give you more the cash flow? Yeah. More cash flow, the okay. the budget. Mm -hmm. Again, the, the mentorship. Yeah. Mentorship in a sense, how because of now you into this, into business. Okay. So, can get that exposure in the business perspective? Yeah. All right. You see, Alex, the, the issue about mentorship, and I think a lot of people mismatch it, they mismatch the word mentorship. Um, mentorship starts within you. So you need to understand specifically within your business, what are the key areas that you're struggling with? And once you've identified one of those areas, write more about them, what exactly is happening, so that you can match these issues with a mentor who's specifically aligned to that problem area of your business. So it's not it's 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 it's, it's pointless going out there and looking for a mentor because a mentor advises. A lot of people run businesses and some of them there's only one area in the business that they're actually good at. I mean I'm sure only a lot of things that you're good at. True. True yeah. that. Yeah. You, maybe do you want to name them? Yeah give it when it comes to marketing. Okay. When it comes to marketing you could I can sell, kill go get, I can get one go. Yeah. But sometimes when it comes to working enough with the, the papers, yeah. that's where you get almost struggle with the Okay. Why is it about SWOT SWOT analysis? SWOT analysis, yes. Yeah. Strength, weaknesses, opportunities yeah. and threats. Yeah. Yes. I Maybe know. look at that and, and, and develop it within one year where now yourself mm -hmm. and do one for your business. Okay. And see how these two actually align if they don't align. Mm -hmm. But you will probably see that they, they align quite quite you know narrowly because you are the business mm. you wake up in the morning you you push production you are the one knocking doors so maybe look at your SWOT analysis and look at what are the areas that are of weakness and what are the areas that are of threat and maybe then look into people that you have identified in the marketplace mm. that you have seen that are good in those areas I looked at your your financials and I saw that cash flow is an issue. Mm. Um, I'm not sure where because they're not clear exactly. Mm -hmm. But I see sometimes you do run dry in terms of orders. Mm. So I, I, I don't know, it, it, does that ring a bell? Mm -mm, it doesn't. It doesn't ring a bell. Mm. So you've never been in situations where you needed money to run a project? 
I will look at projects that didn't say wrong and the projects that wrong. Mm. In order for me to get money, I have to keep money. Yes. That's why I always keep safe for Chile. Yes. So projects that we don't wrong, like for example, hey, mm. transfer supply, I have to keep money. Transfer mm. delivery, about all before mm. they pay me. Yes. Especially my government, they would go low. But then your payment. Tell me about your payment structure then. Maybe let me ask you that question. Yeah, payment there. Did I end up with the Yeah. Give me a method of repayment. Others by swap, I can also swap emission. Okay. Which child that they can get rid of the immediate effect? Yeah. Uh, get swiping. Mm-hmm. By swap, by one way, by better like catch. Now we may find our catcher really get swery. We made good catch. Ka ka horay ka. We may find our child that thing access is safer. Get a horay ka do the office. Mm-hmm. Office needs. For mm-hmm. example, my page, mm-hmm. the toner, mm-hmm. and the maintenance time machine. We will get some for yeah. printing. Yeah. And then. So it does. So you're basically saying you don't have cash flow issues in your business. Got cash flow again, or like one income statement saga. I can't put my income statement, correct, relevantly. Yeah. Or here's my limit. Okay. Can I problem you? Okay. One time, because sometimes my business will be limited. Five thousand. That's what goes back to a budget. Do you have an accountant in your business? Hmm. An accountant. Ah, I can know. Just it. Okay. Beautiful business at an acceleration phase. Um, going very well, um, and I think uh, it's just, it just needs more accountability now. Mm-hmm. I'd like you to sit with your, with your accountant okay. to run through your, your financials. Okay. Um, there's, there's issues here cash flow. Mm-hmm. You might not see it because other businesses are subsidizing other mm-hmm. clients of yours. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you get into relationships where clients don't pay you then, but they pay you once the product is there. Good, true. Yes, yeah, so then you have to take up money from elsewhere. So that plays around a lot with your financial structures in the business mm. and it causes instability. So maybe look into your, your agreement, your payment agreement structures. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if they are written on your invoice. My structure is, is so when it comes to schools, then, yeah. it's 30 days. Yeah. But some of the schools after we're delivering, yeah. they issue us a check, yes. which it clears, it clear after 10 days. Yes. Mm. So maybe look into an, a different structure because then that money can be working capital for you as well. Mm. If you perhaps ask the, the schools to give you, even if it's 30 or 35% payment upfront. They, they don't allow. Yeah. It's not in their policy. They say deliver first. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. You're literally loaning them depending on how your margins look like. Some of them might be 2.5% on top of your margins that you add to your costs because then you're loaning them that money. You know, it's coming very late. So you need to make money out of it and not burn the money that you're working for already. So those are the kind of models that you work work on in terms of your cash flow Mm. to make sure that you don't lose money. But however, I wish you all the best tomorrow yeah, yeah. Uh, in terms of pitching for the 50K. I think your business is doing very well, yeah. but just look into your, your, your cash flow no, uh, area mm-hmm. and work with an accountant fee. Yeah, no, no problem. I'll do so. Sir. Sure. Thank you. Welcome back. Yeah, thanks, man. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, I'm going to go to the pitch. I'm going to go to the pitch because I'm going to go to the business. I'm going to go to the business. I'm going to go to the business specifically. I'm going to go to the business. 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 So, whereby, I'm going to go to the business. 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 Ah, Tate, Yazin, I can't wait to see Pichia come for you too. But I to show them who's the best. I guess Bonnie will take Zogan's Ah, thank you. Thanks. Boy, you mean you can go through that. Welcome back to Making Moves. Welcome to the pitch. Thank you, sir. How are you feeling? I'm blessed. I'm okay, sir. Are you ready to pitch your business? Yes, I am, sir. All right, so you've got four minutes to pitch your business, after which we'll ask you a few questions, and your four minutes starts now. Okay. My name is Elex Moaz. I'm the CEO, the founder of Elex Academic Bookstore. Elex Academic Bookstore is a legitimate academic bookseller whereby we sell academics bookshop, we sell academic 
books stationary and then we are able to trade if the client is able to trade their books and then we allow our client to trade in their textbooks <coughs> and then we Korea nationwide, free Korea nationwide. The product that we sell, Elex Academy Bookstore, we sell all kind of stationery from the office, uh, office home and individuals. We even sell any kind of uh, prescribed textbook that any client wish to have. We host educational fun field every year, which is a spelling bee uh, career expo, whereby we go out. Elex Academy not only focus on the selling books, we even create website for NGOs, institutions and individuals. Um, because of we, we, we believe in change and empower others, every year we, we, we give learners, final year learners, work integrated learning so that they come to our store and then we give them in-trained service. <coughs> Our current uh, project, now I'm going to talk about our current budget, uh, project. Elex Academy Bookstore, we managed to save 150000 which we save it to start a new bookstore at um, Mpumalanga. Whereby our ad in Mpumalanga, we target, our target market at Mpumalanga, it's the University of uh, Mpumalanga, with um, three colleges, which is TVET colleges, and then we target UNISA student. Here, if you can see, there is an enrollment. We did some research whereby they told us uh, through the research SIV at the University of Mpumalanga this year, 2017, we had uh, 4,801 students. This year, it's based through the research, this one. I'm not estimating it. And then at uh, TVET colleges uh, in Tanzania, we have uh, 8,900. At uh, Sivanda, we have 3,100. Right, we can see the numbers move on. Oh, move on. Okay, thank you, sir. In UNISA, we have over, two th uh, the service is stated that even though the residents is that they have uh, 24,895 students, which is that is that addresses. And then, okay, the, we're gonna, uh, with the 50,000 that we're gonna giving us, you know, the first of all, we, from our organization, we analyze the problem within our sector. Within our sector, we realized that okay, a lot of students, when they go to store, when they wanted to purchase a book, they're able to get the relevant one. So they do not know which one they want because they've been taught, and when they get there, there is a new edition of the book. So that's the one problem that we discovered, and they have to return the book, which become a loss to us. And secondly, we, uh, on uh, publishing, we have what we call uh, print on demand. You might find certain books, they don't have it, we, they, they've been printed as demand. So publishers, they send a bookshop, so that you confirm you want this book. And then we have to confirm, only to find out the client doesn't want that. So the client have to bring back the book, even our bookshop already confirmed with the publishers. That become a problem with us, don't they? The book, we don't know where to take it to. Again, another problem that we have, we have a travel. Since well, we, we're marketing in Pumalanga, a lot of students, especially UNESA students, they have to travel from Pumalanga to another province, which is uh, Pretoria, to purchase their study material, even to download their manual guide and assignment. And again, we have what, what slow operation of system, whereby uh, machinery, whereby internet, is, uh, difficulties of internet. And again, we have another problem whereby when it comes to our tillers, remember I stated that we're analyzing problem within our sector, and then now, now it goes back to this one, um, the tillers. And again, some of the parents, they don't give the learners Chief, money. you're running out of time, move okay. on. Okay. Mm, okay, what are we going to implement? Since we have those problems, we're going to, you know, still going to implement what we call cyber center, whereby students will be able to, inside our store bookshop, they will be able to do self-service. Instead of them standing on the queue, they'll be able to go and check if the book they have. If they don't have, they'll be out. But in that case, they'll be able to place their books online. And then again, others will be on, on the queue to get the books and pay. Others will be there, check the books on the cyber site. Whereby student, uh, learners from UNISA, they'll be able to check. What is the cyber site? Is, where, is this, that I just showed the internet for the student? And then this side, okay. How will this thing benefit us? It, it will benefit us, we, I mentioned, that it will benefit us whereby it's a self-service and it saves time. Student, uh, student for them going out All there. All right, your, your time is up. Um, it's okay, your time is up. <laughs> Stop flipping through slides. <laughs> You're done. Okay. So you want to open a cyber center? Yes, sir. A cyber site will let students know that they can search for books and that will allow you to print on demand. Is that right? Or yes. for the publisher to print on demand? Yes, sir. Is it for you or the publisher to print on demand? It's the publisher that they do so. Because the students, when they come, they get incorrect book. But with the cyber side, that's where then this, this matter will be resolved because they will be confirmed this is what we want. And then with the 50,000, I'm going to be with the 50,000. Here's the f figures. We, I'm going to purchase a desktop, five, uh, which five times five, it will be between 5,000. Tables, okay, I'm going to buy. You're cheating because you're taking us through your presentation. 
So am I to understand, um, Alex, that the Cyber Centre is not just a centre for people to come and do books, it is going to be an internet cafe, it is all of that under one roof? Not specifically to be for UNISA students. For UNISA students, they'll be able to come in and check their, uh, their work, for, for, but for working, anyone is not. Okay. And then, ha do you have an arrangement with UNISA? With the UNISA, yes, ma'am. What is the arrangement? With the, the UNISA, we have the utilizing what you call SBAX. SBAX is whereby they, they purchase books and then SBAX they pay me after within 15 days. Same applies with NEFSAS. So I partnered with those people. I'm a merchant. Our bookshop is an official merchant. Okay. So they know they will be coming. They don't pay with cash to them. They have in their card, they'll swipe. In your business, in the stationary sector, Okay. Um, what is your what is your margins compared to the cyber center and your books? Mm, my margins when look at to the, the stationery. The stationery when it comes to the students, we don't do much compared to the because of the stationery. Where my focus, it's on primary and secondary. I yeah. saw that. How yes. Much How much is your margin in your sta stationery facet of your business compared to this margin? Because um, I see you supplying schools. You're supplying. You know, a lot of places, I've seen that on your paperwork. Yes, ma'am. I want to know what is the difference in margin for that component of your business and this component of your business? The difference is that it will be over 100,000. Are you thumb sucking where, or do you where, know, where, where do you get the number from? No, no, I, I, I mean, let me defend him. I, I think he does have a firm grip on his numbers. He's having difficulty explaining them, okay. but he's got a firm grip on his numbers. So the question is this, okay. your, your, your business is broken up into, let's say, three or four different divisions. Yes. Sir. Where is the money? The money is on tissue. Because you know why, why I'm saying the money is on tertiary. Remember when you register, the book are required. It's not an optional. How can you pass without having study material? So when, when we go to tertiary, they'll be able to purchase. There's no way you can pass when you're at tertiary without But the books. margins, you've done the mathematics around and the margin. And yes, the margins okay. are better on which side? On the cyber side, the one that I'm going to be creating. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. ma'am. Lerato? How much is it going to cost to run that cyber site? Um, to, it is, it's going to run me 50000 to start it. Remember, no, I will start okay. to run it. To run it, it's not going to start. If I have the equipment, it won't be more expensive. Yes. Alex, yes, sir. I want to understand how much is it going to cost you the monthly running to run that side of it? It will cost me only thousand rand. But the machine, I don't remember the maintenance. Normally, it cost me one thousand. The guy who maintained my machine, machinery. Okay. Yes. How did you get to that thousand rand? Thousand rand is only for the maintenance of machinery. That a print out mechanical machine are only. Okay. Electricity? The electricity is one thing, so all on one all in one. But it's in going to increase electricity. How Not many one. how many computers are you putting in? It's five. Five? Yes. So it's, it is yes. going to increase your the, the, the five it's because so of this thing, remember I own my tiller, I'm gonna have my own computers again. Yeah. So that one is it is a combination of one thing. When are I arrange it. No, it doesn't make sense. If if I'm adding five more equipment to okay. the business, it's clearly going to take more electricity. You're going to pay that. more. Yes. So if you're paying 5,000 rand with what you currently have, mm -hmm. and now you have more machinery, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm it's going to increase. Yes. Yeah. So I want to know what, what's the output of that. The output of that one, I'll put 500 rand. I get it. I, I don't understand why you guys don't get it. <laughs> he's, like, he's not answering my question. No, but I, I get it. He hasn't an answered one there, question and you're no, defending him. There's 27, uh, how many? 27,000 no, UNISA students? He's being a yeah. politician. Yeah. There are 27,000 UNISA Just look at the UNISA students on their own. Eh? Okay. He, he needs to We're not asking no, listen, you to pitch We're not going to have this conversation in front of you. Okay. We're done with the question and answer. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll let you know right now. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, we'll do it. Thanks. No, I thought four minutes is a lot. I'm glad that they understood what I got this cyber side because of the fact that they asked me questions, I was able to elaborate more so they understood what I got. All right, let's deliberate. I mean, I think you guys know my position and um, you, you have a point. So, what are your thoughts, sir? Uh, look, I, I like the business. He's making money, that's clear. The thing is, he is at a level of acceleration in his business. And at that point, there are specific behaviors that he needs to be careful of. 
before the business goes down. And this is starting different ideas now and then, taking money out of the business and running them too quickly. You know, there was a lot of questions and if we could understand Afutu when it came down to Ismaili. Yes. What happened there? No, that one, I'm glad to be able to elaborate more. We yeah. could be able to benefit everyone. Most important to explain how will I make money having a cyber sign in my store. Martino asked a question about his margins. He's not clear about them at all. I'm not advocating it. I think part of our role is to educate and Absolutely. to give feedback, mm -hmm. and we can ask him to go do that work. Yeah. But if I had 50,000 to give him right now for that cyber center of my own, I would give it to him. I don't disagree with you, mm. okay? But I think what, what we're trying to get at is where are the habitual flaws that could cripple the business, mm. okay? Mm. So we all know that that cyber center is going to churn money. It's a machine. We all know that. But the fact that you cannot tell me what your margins are in certain areas is alarming because you're going to make some decisions that are going to be detrimental to the business. You might neglect the one side that's now subsidizing the other side, etc., etc. So it was not a process of elimination to ask him that question. It was a mere understanding of your business is doing well, it's growing, there's, 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 there's room for, for expansion. What is it that is going to cripple you that you can rectify now so that you can sustain this for a very long time? Yeah, I, th I think I'm, I'm, I'm wrong in terms of looking past those flaws too easily. Fine. From what I've seen of his numbers, mm. the bookshops make money. Mm. The stationery seems to make money. And maybe seasonal. is uh, maybe is not as seasonal, though, because stationery, dictionaries, those kinds of things, are they not things that he can push throughout the year? For schools, annually, it's For seasonal. Schools. It's but if he's, if he's going to be doing corporates, I mean, the, not dictionaries, but stationery mm. is something you could supply throughout the year to okay. corporates. So Mpumalanga's got ESCOM, all of those guys yeah. out there. You could expand that to corporates. Mm. Okay, now I understand yeah. why you are asking the question around yeah. margins yeah. with stationeries. I'm slow today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, let's bring him back in. Let's go find out what's the outcome from the judges. Joabi Sengshilo, all the best in for you. Here we go. Thank you, Nipotilex. Thank Alex, welcome back. Thank you. Sir. Scale of one to ten, how do you think you did? Uh, I think I'll give myself seven. Seven. Yes, because of the fact that I was you were able to ask me questions and elaborated more. Okay, so without the questions, you. I was going to get zero, in fact. Zero. Because if I didn't elaborate more. Yeah. Yes. I sir. agree with you. Yes, sir. I think. Your pitch wasn't a good pitch okay. in the sense that you didn't finish. I tried that. You glossed over too many things and didn't drill down into the detail. However, I like the idea that you're pitching and I like the content of your pitch. So we're each going to give you a bit of feedback and, and tell you what, what we think you need to do in your business in order to help you grow and give you our opinions. The first thing that I've got to say is I think you need to focus. I feel like you're a little bit all over the place. I think I said this to you yesterday as well. Yeah, true. The parts of your business that I like, love the bookstores and think that, you know, I'd love to see 20 of them, you know, or at least nine, one in each province uh, within the next three to five years. I, I like, love that. Two, I like the stationery and books into schools and I think that can grow. It's easy to grow. You just keep expanding it, adding more schools, adding more schools, adding more schools. Third, I understand I'm not crazy about the sale of stationery to corporates and to government, but it's an important part of your business because the other two parts are seasonal. So you need something that can run throughout the year. So I would lose things like websites and all that kind of stuff. You're going into spaces that you don't know. Just sell books and stationery and stick with it and get really good at that. Okay. 
Thank you, Mesa. Alex, numbers for me are extremely important in a business, okay? And however Pepsi wants to protect you today, you fumbled with your numbers. Um, and we have to call a spade a spade. <laughs> <laughs> um, at the end of the day, you're not clear on your numbers. Uh, I think you're a typical entrepreneur who's going to be extremely successful. I don't know what success looks for you, but I, I, can, I can pick it up that you're a problem solver and you've, you've, you've literally solved a problem that people in that community where you come from are going through, mm -hmm. you know? And, and I think it's noble and I, I, I wish to see your business grow forever. But for my part, um, I think you need someone you are, you are going to be accountable to. Um, I think that financial person or an accountant, okay. if you could find an accounting company that has coaching or mentorship under the banner. Um, it would be perhaps a, a valuable tool to have so that every month, instead of someone presenting you the numbers and explaining them to you, but at least you're then accountable to that person and they're able to coach you through the numbers so that your numbers grow. So that's my feedback for you. I want you to go and do your business plan. Go back to it. Go okay. back and do your business plan. Okay. From scratch, okay. based on what you know now, okay. it is that deep dive, go in, tell me where this business is going to be in five years. Okay. My opinion is that you should come back because I think you've got a fantastic business. Okay. You are a problem solver. However, you're risk, risky because you run. And you can trip and fall and mess yourself up uh, badly. So guys like you, win big or lose big? Mm. I do understand. Okay. Martin? Alex, uh -huh. I'd like to welcome you back okay. with a strong emphasis on the tasks that were given. Okay. So I look forward to welcoming you back. Oh, thank you very much. Alex, congratulations. No, that's thank all you. I have to say. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. All right. Yeah, Get out of here. You've got work to do. Yeah. No, thank you very much. Sure. Thanks. The Tesla and Pilinjuan is a trick. You join the logic of focus on what's going on and then give it two more observing and then give it more time. Give it the focus, uh, give it the delete focus. Lose the logic of the change. Especially my, my operation system, how I operate. I have to stick to the focus. I get trading because of that line. I get trading. They're all right because of my numbers are good. About the numbers, about the income, till they are in a shop. So I must go up and down. So I focus on the energy trading. If you are an entrepreneur and would like to be featured on the show, contact us on makingmoves at sabc.co.za or visit our website.